Hello folks, uh, today I'm going to be using the world's smallest log splitter and splitting the world's biggest log, so stay tuned. Probably need to choke again because it only ran for a minute. <laughs> Can't use the wheelbarrow to dump the water out of it. But seriously, that is a lot of water. And there was no roof runoff into this. That's how much it's rained in two weeks. Yeah, so yeah. A lot of rain here, but with the sand, it's not really muddy at all. You know, it just drains straight through. So it's one nice thing about living on high ground with just sand. This would be the very first start of my Lumberjack 22 ton log splitter. I was 800 bucks, 208 cc or about 5.5 6 horsepower. Uh, probably looks like a typical Chinese uh, clone engine. No particular name right on it. So It's supposed to have hydraulic oil. Uh, we'll see how the engine fires up here. And the kill switch is on. I see a gas valve on it. Oh, there it is. Turn that to on. Ah, that's Watch this choke, it's a flimsy little plastic thing. No throttle. Give it a little bit. Not bad. One pull, brand new engine. up the engine doesn't make the hydraulics move any faster you need, would need probably need to upgrade the pump it's probably only 11 gallon per minute the price difference between the 11 and the 16 gallon per minute pump at the local farm supply store $10 220 versus $230 so yeah, that'll be a long time before that's upgraded and now to get some pine wood and uh, see how it actually splits
truck splitter is working really good. I was considering getting the Harbor Freight five ton electric splitter. It was on coupon for $229.99. But then I thought about it and I'm gonna get a gas one uh, sometime next year. So I figured just get one, to get a ga cheaper gas one the first time. So I was, you know, spending the uh, 1100 or so on the gas one I really wanted. Uh, not not a bad decision to buy this one. It's definitely worth the eight hundred dollars. Uh, the twenty-five ton model was on sale for eight fifty. I was like, man, I already had the this one. I already bought and paid for online. So I was like, mm, well, I did just don't want to deal with the hassle of returning it. So I bought this one. Uh, as you can see, fired up first pull. Yeah, I kind of thought it was a uh, pretty funny. Uh, splitting that little itty bitty log but yeah you do that for kindling easier what easier to use that big splitter than the hatchet and with uh an assistant to run the splitter ram for me i can get the job done in half the time easily easily half the time and to figure out a good system what i did was i'll show you on the trailer I don't have any wood in here now. What I did was with the wheelbarrow, uh, I had say three rolls of wood going crossways. I get one row taken out and like a half of another row. And then, you know, I was putting that into the splitter and once I got room, like a row and a half or so, I started stacking the wood back in here. And that works out really good because then I don't split the whole load and have to pick it up off the ground or out of the wheelbarrow I just split it right back into the trailer and that's the best way I know of to split firewood in a hurry is if you have a helper do a system like this if you have two lawn tractors two uh, two yard carts just split from one put the wood right in the other so until next time folks take care